welcome back to Beast Gameplay. Yes, today uh, we are going to begin a new series which is called Euro, I mean Road to the Euro 2016. Now, it's kind of different from my other series because this is not on PES. Uh, so, yeah, um, this is called Road to the Euro. There is, as you can see here, four days for the Euro. Here, four, day, four days to go. Uh, for four days to go, and yeah, le rendezvous, the Euro in France. Uh, so today we're actually going to do a prediction, which was uh, put up by Hyundai in the UEFA Euro 2016 <coughs> uh, France uh, website, which is in the fan zone, if you want to go, or right in the link. EuroPredictor.eWafer.com and then go in the bracket. Now, there are going to be two stuff on this website. There's going to be the bracket prediction and also the match prediction, which I will tell you in the next episode. So, there's going to be four episodes in total, one in each day, uh, one in the each day that are remaining, and in. Uh, and in what do you call it? In the final day, there will be like a kind of like in Wave Euro kickoff like special lighting. So there's going to be four episodes, and yeah, on the last episode there's going to be a, like a kickoff special. So yeah, let's begin with today's video. So we are on the Hyundai predictor here on the Wave Euro website. So we first have to predict the group stage. Uh, by the way, this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. It is just for the fun. So yeah, we're going to begin with Group A. So obviously, for everyone who knows, um, I'm a football fanatic, of course. But <coughs> there's no wrong way to say that Group A isn't going to be the French on top. First, there's going to be France, France for sure. Uh, come on, how can you say that France, uh, they uh, didn't actually went for the qualification because they were hosting the tournament, but yeah, they played good in the pre-seasons, uh, very certain that they will play good in this UEFA Euro. So, on the other hand, who will be the next qualifier for the Euro group? So, the next qualifier for the Euro group it's going to be Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland have good good players like Lindsteiner, Schaka, and a very and I think Burki as well, who's uh, with uh, uh, who's with Borussia Dortmund. Uh, he's their backup goalkeeper after finding Peller. Uh, yeah, second choice Switzerland. Now, luckily, third is also going to qualify this year. Uh, if you uh, saw the World Cup, who didn't see the World Cup, um, whoever uh, came third didn't qualify. So, for example, England came third in their World Cup qualification group. Um, so yeah, uh, in their World Cup group. Uh, so if it was with this method, third could have also passed. So yeah, who will it be? I'm feeling that it's going to go to Albania. Yes, Albania or not Albania because that's how we say it in our country, Albania. Uh, Albania, one of them. Uh, so let's see which is the famous one because if you press the I, it will tell you which was the most famous. And our prediction was actually not the one that was famous. They were thinking Romania would go through. I didn't see that much in Romania, so. I'm going to give the for the third place to Albania. So in Group B, of course, in first, we can't give out that England are not going to top the group. It would be fairly disappointing if England don't top the group. Look at their World Cup group, for example. Um, <coughs> their World Cup group actually um, had Italy and Uruguay in it, plus uh, a qualify uh, quarter final qualifying Costa Rica so you couldn't judge uh, those four teams even though Italy and England went badly in the World Cup but yeah let's begin England should top the group fairly easily next up 
I'm tempted to give it to Russia because they had more experience. But of course, Gareth Bale, Aaron Ramsey, surely the Welsh are gonna be on second place. Great Britain will surely qualify to the round 16s. Next up, we have third place. Now again, this place qualifies. So Russia again had more experience, so I'm giving it to Russia with reason. Russia have a chance to qualify. Slovakia are out of the competition. See, um, so yeah, um, this is going to be my group uh, talk now. So, Group C <coughs> Germany, Northern Ireland, Poland, and Ukraine. The world champions are surely going to top the group, there's no certain. But who gets second or third? Now, uh, the last uh, hosts, the 2012 hosts, uh, Ukraine and Poland, were drawn in the same group by the fortune. But only one of them will pass, and I say that is going to be Poland. Poland had a great uh, position uh, in their qualification group, and then Ukraine will enter, and Northern Ireland will get on fourth place. I think I lost this, but I still think, yeah, I actually predicted the worst. So, Group D, we've got Turkey, Spain, Czech Republic, and Croatia. Now, for this, I give my first gratitude to the Spanish, they're surely going to top the group. Croatia are a good side, I don't see them uh, going badly in the competition, so I think I'm going to give second to Croatia. Now, Czech Republic and Turkey. So, if you don't know, I'm from Malta, and so is all the Beast Gameplay crew from Malta. <coughs> they just play the Czech Republic, and usually when we play Italy, so they're a good team, Italy, they beat us like 2-1. Czech Republic actually beat us 6-1. Humiliating, I know, but yeah, stick with it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to give it to Czech Republic because they played very well in the game against us and Turkey will end up in last place and they gave Czech Republic the last place. Nah, I don't see that happening. So Group E, which for everyone is going to be the group of the... So if you don't know, D E group E, yeah, totally bad joke. So for everyone who doesn't know this, Belgium Italy have been badly wounded this time, and I don't think still gonna get second place for sure. So now we're gonna give it to. Sweden. Sweden have Ibra, who's now signing at Manchester United. Um, Ibra is very good. He's a very good player, and then they got very good players uh, at the back. Ireland, there's unless Shane Long counts, there's not much uh, shot stoppers. <coughs> Sorry. Next up, Group F. Now, because of their totally perfect. Uh, we're going to start talking about Iceland for their qualification. Um, Iceland, I'm going to give them first, the second place. I'm going to give them second place because they bust their qualification rounds. Austria, I feel they're going to get third. Now, I like think Portugal are going to come first for sure. And of course, uh, Hungary will get fourth. Next up, we get so it was no, not it wasn't in that order so it's time to predict the third place qualifiers now only four place only four third place teams will go through the knockout stage i need to pick four who i think will qualify i, I basically explained it exactly and i didn't even know this so the four that i think will go through of one of these six groups Russia, Albania, I'm not picking in. So, Sweden, they're gonna go through for sure. Czech Republic, go through. Austria, they will go through. So now we can continue. Those are my four Albania or Albania and uh, Ukraine are out. So, Switzerland versus Poland. Poland, this is now the knockout stages of the UEFA Euro. Switzerland versus Poland. I'm going to say that the Swiss are going to go through of this one. They got Shakai. 
Spain, Austria. Spain will be the, of course, going through on that. England, Czech Republic. I can't see out of England this time. England can surely be Czech Republic. Portugal, Italy. Italy. Portugal won't stand the Italians, and I see that the Stallions will go through. Germany versus Russia. Germany will surely go through. They're champions of the world. Belgium, Croatia, Belgium, of course. France, Sweden, the hosts, all the way. And Wales, Iceland. I see Iceland going through that one. Sorry for all the Welsh people who. Iceland have had a great qualification <coughs> and I think could make one of finals. Switzerland, Spain, totally, it's going to go to Spain. England, Italy. Now, again, Italy have gone terribly in their competition and, and even their friendlies. I know they, I think that they just beat their, like, their rivals, not rivals, uh, a friendly match, they beat them 17-0, I think, something like that. But, I still in, I still think that Deli Ali, Marcus Rashford, Rudy, Kane, Vardy, and people like that could outstand Italy. And I see England go through and face play in the semis. Germany versus Belgium, I think it's going to be Germany on that one. France versus Iceland, France cannot lose it then. And now we are going to go to the semi-finals. Spain, England. I see England going through Spain. Are not that good right now. And I see England making it to the final. Germany getting the same position as in final. And a big dog at in the 10th July. England versus France. Now it's, it's either... You can support your own team, or you can support like the host. I'm not actually sure who I'm going to pick. Because, like, so, uh, because of that, um, wait a second, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to pause the video for a second. Okay, so I'm back. So, it says that England's latest <coughs> and best scores against France it's actually 17 wins, 5 draws, and 8 games lost. So, with that in mind, the last time we faced France was actually in the Euro 2012. And we drew. The last time we faced France, though, was actually in November 2015 against I mean, in an international friendly, and we beat them. But as we go back then, we faced France three times between the period of 2004 to 2010, and we got actually owned there. And I think we actually got knocked out in the Euros of 24 of 2004 uh, with France in the qualification. So. I'm not actually sure, but stats wise, I'm going to go to England. I see England winning the Euros. Everyone's saying that England might win the Euros, but I think if we can actually get to there and we can play against France guys, I still think that we can beat them. So I'm going to submit my packet now. Link in the description if you want to try this. Uh, now, uh, with four days to go, uh, we will still have <coughs> a lot to do uh, with four days to go. Now, we still have four episodes, two of them which will be on this website, including the one today. Uh, the next two, I think it's going to be maybe a Euro, uh, a Euro related challenge. But yeah, hope you liked today's video. Be scared, play. Come on, the rendezvous for the Euro.